Big change coming for soon to be sixth graders in the Edgewood School District. Instead of starting next school year in their respective middle schools, all sixth grade students will be headed to a sixth grade academy. The district is officially opening that academy in the fall. And as Stephanie Cerner reports, administrators say they believe it will help the students ease into the next step. Lizette Casas, whose daughter is in the fifth grade right now, says she has been a little worried about her little girl leaving elementary school. My husband and I were concerned about her even going to middle school at all. Um, it's a huge transition period. And that's why Edgewood School District officials are opening a new sixth grade academy to ease that transition from elementary to middle school. Sixth grade is a very important transition year in a student's life as, in, in education. So they have like one foot out of elementary school and one foot in, in junior high. So we feel by putting them in their own campus for sixth grade, it'll help them in that transition. Starting next school year, all 800 sixth grade students within the Edgewood School District will be housed at one location, the current Holscher campus. And this school year sort of served as a trial of how the sixth grade academy would work. Now the sixth grade students here at Brentwood Middle School actually attended classes here at the Holscher campus. And starting next year, all the sixth graders in the district will attend school here. So far the results have been great. The sixth grade students have benefited from that. District officials say transportation will be provided for those students who need it. And parents we talked to today say they're on board with the change. I think that the maturity levels of between the differences between sixth graders and eighth graders is, is very different. Um, so I think that this gives her a little bit more time to be able to develop the social skills to learn how to deal with, with that age group. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.